Hi, this is Dr. Rubenstein, and we are uh, back looking at uh, something to help us understand cemetery symbols. We're continuing with that uh, that series, and we're looking at something a little bit different today. Let me turn this around. And what we're looking at here is a um, mausoleum, of course. Uh, some of the features of it we've we've talked about before on other mausoleums, but what I'm looking at today. And what I'm most interested in today is you'll see at the top that it has a large orb on it. <clears throat> and um, I think so. I think you can see it. Let me uh, let me get a better perspective here as I walk across the street. There we go. I want you to be able to see the whole thing. But that is an orb on the top sometimes they call it a ball now on some grave sites it's just decorative uh, but I think that's more than just decorative up there um, uh, if they're on a pedestal or a, a polished stone it usually represents the universe and so that's what that's what this one represents we'll see if we can find some others here but this is the universe. Now there's some other things about this mausoleum we've, we've talked about before. It's got um, <clears throat> what looks like Corinthian columns. Um, probably we would say it was Greco-Roman revival. <clears throat> Very interesting though. Very interesting. Durkee. We'll find out what information we can about the family. <clears throat> yes. Take a look inside, see what we can see. Oops. Well, I can't read any of the names. I don't know. I can't, but uh, my camera might be able to pick them up fairly well. I can't really see much. I don't see a place to sit. Or anything like that. Maybe get a little closer look at the columns. <clears throat> so again, that is an orb or a ball, as it's sometimes called, on the top. And uh, we'll see if we can find some other examples. Here we see another example of an orb, or ball, as it's sometimes, it's sometimes called. And you can certainly see how it's not just, it's not just decorative, but it goes back to the idea of the universe, that sort of thing. Um, this is for, let's see here. Oh, I can't. Thornton is the last name. Chester. Chester Thornton. 1844-1902. Liza. Probably his wife. 1855-1881. Thornton, yeah. John Thornton, buried in Vermont. Hmm. 1819 to 1855. His wife, Arvilla. 1827 to 1914. Interesting. And over here is Lewis H. Waite, 1843 to 1916, and Mary Jane, his wife, 1846 to 1925. Well, these don't look like they're part of this work. <coughs> Pardon me. Leonard, Anna, Leonard. 
806 Bomb Squadron Army Air Corps died in Atlanta, Georgia. There's Atlanta, John, and this over here is Mary. In any case, that's a good example of an orb. It's not on top of a uh, mausoleum or anything like that. So we will continue on looking around a little bit. And here we are continuing our look at balls and orbs and things of that nature. And here's an example of them being used uh, decoratively. And we've talked about this, this monument before. But um, there's a good example. So we've seen them on top of mausoleums, we've seen them on top of um, uh, gravestones, and here we see them used in a decorative sense. So with that, I hope you're enjoying this series and uh, learn something about orbs and balls and things of that nature in cemeteries. So with that, you have a good day.